The real knowing is now. Now is complete. Now there is no boundary line. There is no, um, there's no limitation to now. Now is total. If you begin to see now, you have access to all knowledge. Because awareness and knowing are inseparable. They're one and the same thing. For example, right now, we often think of awareness and um, we always think of it just like you said that we think of awareness as not as great as knowing because we think we're aware of something okay now there's so we can split awareness just for the sake of understanding there's awareness pure awareness and there's awareness of something but awareness of something what is that it's a perspective you can say it's a thought, a belief, um, yeah, it's a perception. Perception is one of Yeah, yeah, perception. yeah. Okay. It cannot exist without the idea and the framework and the structure of which the thinker is really the center. Yes, yes. So now, let's go into that. Now, can you get to know pure awareness without being aware of anything. Can you know pure awareness without being aware of anything? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay, explain. <laughs> because then you're in being. You're in the silence. When are you not in being? When you're in the human side. <laughs> and when is that? When you're an ego or when you're okay. a smaller self. When, when, when you're not being, you're in being. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know but you see, you're always in being, even when you're in the human side. There's never a time when you're in a being, it's just that we're not aware of it. Do, do you understand? This is the difference. If we're not aware, then of course, we, we, we're not aware that we are in being. So we function from what we are aware of. And that means that now we're involving ourselves totally into the thinker. Okay, whatever we think becomes reality. But do you see the process of the thinker here? There are millions of thoughts, trillions of thoughts. Okay? You become aware of a thought and you think about it. Do you understand that process now? You see, before you think about a thought, you become aware of that thought. Got it? Mm -hmm. You become aware of that thought. If you're aware of that thought, okay, this means that you are awareness itself. But with, because without awareness, there can be no capacity to think. There's, well, there's no such thing as no, no awareness, of course. Awareness is. There can be no separation from awareness. Awareness is. Awareness is always, always present because it is the now itself. The moment you become aware of a thought, then you start thinking about it. Okay? Now, if you're aware of a thought and you leave it as a thought, if you see it as a thought, then you don't think about it. You only think about it when the thought reminds you of something that you feel is real. That's how the thinker is created. We see the difference here? Okay. So. <clears throat> But that very process of becoming aware of the thought means that awareness is always, always, always there. So this also means that whatever thought, <coughs> excuse me, whatever thought is present cannot be real. 